Hey, today I'm going to show you how to configure VLANs and Cisco Packet Tracer. So, this is how Cisco topology looks like and most of the places you'll find this will be the case where you'll be configuring the similar way of uh, configuring switches with VLANs. So, I'll show you how to go about it. So let's go and make our connections. So before that, let me explain to you the golden rules. Like if you don't know, some of you might not know, some of you might, might know. So if you scroll down over here, I've done some of this. So, so if you want to connect, uh, say, two PCs together using a straight two, that's the wrong way. You can't do that. And first of all, it might it, it won't work at all, because because they are using a, a main purpose behind it is the as Cisco explained, both the golden rule is you can't have two similar devices connect uh, connect using a straight through cable. They have to be connected using a crossover cable like this. The, uh, the other reason is that both of them are having a hardware address or the MAC address so if uh, two similar devices or dissimilar devices as well having a MAC address is both, both device having a MAC address so they can't be connected using a straight through cable you have to use a crossover cable so now the you can get away with that by a high-end version switches and all like that uh, this would work when the switch performs an auto sensing where okay the switch will sense this okay this is a wrong cable so the switch will using its algorithm make as if it is a straight through cable like this so it will work as well but in a real environment when you go for an interview and the interview ask you about a question how will you connect two pieces using a switch you should say uh, using a cross uh, straight through cable not a crossover cable because it's wrong you have to know your basic section so this is how it looks like so as you see two routers using straight through not a no sorry crossover cable not a straight through two similar devices a switch this is fine this is not okay but in the other case this will work when it's do uh, when the switches are doing do auto when auto sensing is on this will work like as if it was a crossover cable so so but in Cisco it's not allowed so you have to know your basics so let's go and configure so right now we'll use a straight through cable for a router F0 to F01 okay similar device user you use a crossover cable not a straight through cable crossover cable okay zero two okay we'll make them a redundant leak using a that, that that you can work with this as well but uh, most of the Cisco labs use this kind of topology we, they use a backup link so I'll show you how to do that as well this is how it is done sure you use a crossover cable otherwise a straight to cable won't work and your practical won't function as properly so right now we are using a straight through cable because they are dissimilar devices so before that i have shown which access ports uh, will be assigned to which vlans so basically there are four vlans vlan 10 vlan 20 vlan 30 vlan 99 
so villain 10 is sales villain 20 is accounts department villain 30 is engineering department and villain 99 is administrative or management or native villain where you'll manage the configure the villains remotely like that so in access port will uh, where we assign villains we, sorry we accept uh, we assign ports to villains so for example fast ethernet ports 0 to uh, 6 to 10 will be assigned to villain 10 and 11 to 15 will be assigned to villain 20 and 16 to 20 will be assigned to villain 30 you can assign the remaining ports to villain 99 but for this practical we are we are going to be stick to this so right now okay we'll start from 6 because it's villain 10 it's having 6 to 10 so we can assign them from 6 to 10 doesn't matter if it is yes, 7 so now we are left with we used 6 and 7 so now we are left with 8 9 10 3 so now this is VLAN 20 accounts VLAN 20 accounts so it's using 11 to 15 so we'll start with 11 and 12 okay now VLAN 30 is from 16 to 20 16 20 16 is 17 okay might now you might see that uh, what the heck is going on normally if you connect this this will this links will turn green the purpose behind that these are red is because I have shut down all the interfaces it's good to do that because you don't want unnecessary ports to be active so Either way, we'll be going to configure those ports. So, don't worry, guys. I'll show you. So, first of all, why we create VLANs? And the basic reason behind this is flexibility. So, in case you had uh, like this was in one room, in sales department room, this was in accounts department room, and this was in a separate engineering room where you wanted one of the sale say this room is full and you want one of your accounts department uh, personnel or whoever person it is you can't be fitted in this room uh, sure. and there's a lot of space in here so you shift that guy over here but what you do is that uh, you don't assign him a VLAN 10, you assign him a VLAN 20 because he's in accounts room and you don't want him to access uh, VLAN 10 information which is of sales unless you want to. So that's the reason behind it, that's the flexibility. Otherwise you have to put a separate switch over here, a separate switch over here, a separate switch over here to connect each different room, uh, different VLAN, separate departments, then connect the router. So that's a mess and that's a pretty expensive. So th that's why VLANs were created. Let's start configuring our switches. We go over here, switch one, enter. Now make sure you put the password because the password is Cisco small letters enable then plus okay gone so you can continue in the next lab which is our part two click on the link and go to the next lab